A lot of the peak oil motions in the states are sort of framed in a way that says, uh, by golly, we're running out of oil, um, how do we find more oil? Uh, this motion, in, that we, we, we reframed it to say, we're running out of oil, how can we find ways of living so, to, without the oil? So, um, and that's where the changes to the pattern of community come in, because once, if the pattern of community is based upon consumption of cheap energy, and all of a sudden the cheap energy's gone, that community doesn't work. So we're saying you've got to radically change to adjust so that we use less energy. So it means lifestyle changes, you know, how we live, transportation, the whole thing. It's not something, we can't wishfully say we need to do it. We have to do it. And the other part of it is uh, a lot of the mistakes we made in the last couple generations when we knew better and we're always put off because, well, it's not a problem yet. Now they're all coming home to roost. So it sounds like I told you so, and it is. Uh, we've got to make these changes. It's not an ideal kind of change, it's a necessity. How did the people you were dealing with react to the idea of radical change? As individuals, everybody nods and says, yes, they understand. But the institutions we have are such that they collectively they can't deal with it. What do you think peak oil is going to mean for Vancouver and when? Well, luckily, we're a little ahead of some communities. In comparison to Seattle, for instance, we've got like... Uh, something like four times the uh, land use efficiently, efficiency. But compared to Europe, North American cities are like one thirtieth as, as efficient. Um, so we've got some legs up, but if you take a look around, everything we now take for granted, which we look around as the use of cars, the, the houses that have to be heated with natural gas and that's running out, um, just about everything we have is in jeopardy. It means that we're a little bit ahead, but we're still gonna suffer a shock. And we talk about things like the mass migration. The, it isn't just oil, it's just about every um, mineral or resource that is needed for forward planning by every industry is going to hit a ceiling in the next seven to ten years. So everybody's great growth plans are pie in the sky right now. But there, some people admit it, some people don't. Some people don't realize that some of the things they need to make their product are going to be you know, missing or going to go up so fast in price that they're going to have to collapse their business. So that's not just us, it's everywhere.